Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the Tower Defense game tutorial series here on Hypercube Games. Today we're going to be working on making the turrets actually shoot. And yeah, that's all we're going to be doing. We're going to be making uh, sure that the turrets, the bullets themselves, actually move towards uh, the enemies. This is going to be a relatively short episode today, so just letting you know that. So let's begin. Alright, so as you can see here, when we uh, press play, you can see how um, when the cubes actually get inside of the object, you can see how they spawn within uh, range as a child of it. So, with that in mind, uh, we're going to actually make a new script on uh, the bullet prefab. We're going to call it attack. So let's make it, uh, as you can see, I already have it here. So we're going to call it attack. And let's click create and add, and let's get scripting. Alright, so now that we're in the script, uh, let's establish a new variable. This is going to be a private variable called target. It's going to be of type game object. Um, in the start function, we're going to be making a target, this target variable, equal to transform dot parent, so the parent of this bullet here, um, which is the range, and getting its component uh, called turret shoot. So we're grabbing that script that we made in the last episode from the parent, and we're grabbing that variable of target in turret shoot. Um, so we're grabbing that target variable and setting it to our target variable. And then the function update, um, we're going to make it so the transform.position, so the transform.position of the bullet, which is where the script is, uh, is going to be equal to vector3.move towards. If you recognize this from our, uh, what's it called, waypoint system episode a few episodes back, then that's exactly what it is. We're using the move towards command once again. Um, and for the first part, as we know, it's going to be what your starting position is, which is this position of the object. Um, and where we want to go is target.transform.position. And there we go. And our speed is going to be 10 times time dot delta time. So there we go. Um, that's pretty much it. That's exactly, um, ha that's pretty much it for the attack script, except for one more thing we need to do. Uh, we're going to add an if statement, and we're going to make it so that testing whether or not target is equal to nothing. Uh, there's two equal signs there. So we're testing whether or not target is equal to nothing. Um, so if there's no more target, basically if there's uh, no more, uh, there's nothing there, it's already been destroyed, for example, uh, then we want to destroy this bullet so that it doesn't just linger around and stay in one position uh, floating in the air because it has nowhere to go. And there we go. So I'm going to go through the script real quick. Uh, it's pretty simple. So we're basically making it so that uh, we're making a variable called target. It's a type of game object. And the reason why it's private, here's the reason why, is because if we did made it public or not private, um, what it would do um, is make it so that every single bullet will go towards the exact same target. And yeah, we want individualized targets because uh, the target is always going to change. And there we go. So the target of this object is going to equal to transform dot parent that game object so the range is turret shoot target so there we go <laughs> the target of our range when it spawns which is start not in an update function so that it constantly updates our target what we want to do is make it so that target is only going to equal to whatever it wants to go to at the start when it spawns so it's always going to try to hit its target when it spawns and not change targets as the other ones leave so here I already explained what that does, and I already explained what this does as well. It just grabs your, trans your the position of the bullet and moves it straight towards target at a speed of 10 times time dot delta time. So there we go. That is the attack script. So let's close that down and get back to the game. All right, so now that we've established that, we can go here. Oh, we have a bit of an error. It seems as if I have spelled trans seems as if I have spelled transform wrong, so it's not transform, it's transform. So I'm going to go fix that real quick. There we go, it's right here. So it's transform, not transform. There we go. Alright, so there we go, the error has... There we go, the error has cleared up. And now, if we press on the play button, You'll be able to see that the bullets are shooting at our target, and you'll see that they'll keep on spawn, keep on shooting, 
only at the target that it needs to shoot at. And there we go. That is exactly how we make the turret shoot. So let's make it so that it actually kills uh, the enemy itself. Um, and how are we going to do this? Well, it's going to be relatively simple. We either add, make it so that the bullet, uh, whenever the bullet touches it, or when the enemies get hit by a bullet. Now, I think the better way is by making it so that the enemies feel the bullet. Okay? I think that's actually a better way to do it. So, let's go to the prefabs, go to enemy, and we're going to add a whole new script, and we're going to call it enemy health. Okay? Click on create and add here. Let's get scripting. And in this script, we're simply going to add, uh, we're going to skip all of these and completely ignore them. Uh, and we're going to make a new function, call it on trigger enter. And we're going to make uh, our parameters here info collider, as we always do. And we're testing whether or not the info if info.tag is equal, equal to bullet. Then destroy uh, game object. And it's a capital D on destroy. And there we go. So that's pretty much it. So now what we want to do is make it so that bullet, uh, the prefab itself, is set to a tag called bullet. So let's add a new tag here and call it bullet. Oop. Let's set a new tag here and call it bullet. All right, so now we just made bullet an actual tag. Uh, let's apply it to the bullet prefab. And now, um, if we actually play the game, actually what I'm gonna do quickly before the game actually starts, I'm gonna make the bullets bigger so you can see them a lot easier. And now when the game starts, actually, let's maximize on play. Um, and now if you can see here, you can see the bullets are hitting it and instantly killing it. So there we go. That is exactly how we make the bullets shoot. And yeah. There we go. That's it for this episode. I know it was extremely short. Uh, just a bit of a break from the last episode, um, which was actually pretty long and bulky. Um, just a little bit of a break for you. You're welcome. Um, and yeah, so that's about it for me. In the next episode, we're going to be uh, making it so that the enemies actually have health. And yeah, because that's pretty important because we don't want to insta-kill them. We want them to actually have uh, some health inside of them. All right, that's just about it for me once again. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like uh, for more in the continuation of this series. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.